How is it going, everybody? This is RBT coming at you with my Las Vegas Bowl recap video. Game between USC and Fresno State. And what do you know? I'm wrong again with my pick. USC absolutely just destroys Fresno State 45-20 to 20, 20 in the Las Vegas Bowl. It looked early on like it was going to be a competitive game. USC scored early, took the lead 7-0, but uh, Fresno State got the ball right back, got good field position to start the drive, and Derek Carr made a long pass to Devontae Adams for a touchdown and looked like it was going to be a close, uh, close competitive game. But after that touchdown pass, the next play, the extra point was missed. I believe it was blocked. And after that, they did not look like the same team at all. Derek Carr, as much as he was talking about before the game, I've watched him all season long. He looked, looked like a very good quarterback. They were even talking about pregame, how his best uh, trait as a quarterback is on the deep pass, accurate. And he was inaccurate on that deep pass all day long. He was overthrowing players left and right. There was at least six or seven times he threw a long pass, and there was a guy either wide open or had very a very big step in between him and the defender, and he overthrew him by a good margin. And that happened numerous times, numerous times. If he makes those throws, they're right in the right in the thick of things throughout the game. And they, he was just off. And when he's off, the whole entire team is off, and that's what you saw. Cody Kessler played absolutely phenomenal, aside from that late pick six. Looked like Fresno State was going to come back into the game. Uh, at the end there, but they got the, they got a, after they scored that pick six, they held USC to a three and out. They got the ball back at the fifty and couldn't move the ball because they were not able to move the ball all day. USC absolutely dominated this game from start to finish, and also the coach the coaches made some pretty bad decisions. Uh, fourth down, uh, missed fourth down conversions all throughout the game very early. Uh, I believe they even had a fake punt in there. It's a bunch of kind of questionable calls that kind of ruined the momentum for Fresno State and made the game. Way, way more out of hand than it should have been at the time. So, just an absolute domination. I did. I expected Fresno State to win this game. I, I mean, you got to give all the credit to USC. They're players. I mean, they've gone through so many changes, and I expect they had. A, a, if I read this correctly, they had two defensive coaches on the staff throughout bowl practice leading up to this game with all the everybody leaving. And I was like, man, with that Fresno State offense versus a, a, a defense that's that's been kind of inconsistent this season with only two coaches after all the stuff they've been through. Fresno State's going to win the game. But what do you know? USC comes out and... <laughs> I hate USC because I, I can't ever pick their games because they, they're such, they can look like the best team in the country one week and the next week come out and look absolutely putrid. But, I mean, they had a, obviously they had a great finish to the season. They didn't lose that last game to UCLA, but ever since Lane Kiffin was fired, they looked absolutely phenomenal. But I need to stop doubting them because they look great today. And um, I think they're going to be pretty good going into the next season because Cody Kessler looked like a heck of a quarterback. And... Him with Steve Sarkeesian's coaching is going to be a good, good duo there. But, uh, like I said, congratulations, USC. Great game. I guess we're, we should be glad that Fresno State didn't make a bowl game because that would have been a blowout, whoever they played, really. But uh, final stats, like I said, total yards. The whole entire game was dominated by USC. 500 yards for USC, 254 for Fresno State. And this is a team that was number one in the country in uh, total passing offense, uh, ex total passing yards, etc., 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 and they only had 217, and they were averaging over, uh, well over 400 yards per game. I had 217 yards passing. Uh, Derek Carr was um, 29 of 54, two touchdowns and a pick for 217 yards. Cody Kessler on the flip side was 22 of 31, 344 yards, four touchdowns and an interception. As we all expected, Marquise Lee dominated. He had seven catches for 118 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Nelson Aguilar also had two touchdowns. He had made that crazy catch that should have been an easy catch secured, but it bounced off his knee and he still caught it. So, and they were the, the defense, the secondary, Fresno State was not too great, uh, to say the least. And like I said, that was just really some really bad coaching decisions for Fresno State. I believe was actually helped um, benefited towards. Uh, USC a tremendous amount. Even though I was kind of impressed though with uh, Fresno State at the defense at the uh, their, for the, with their defensive line because they really held DeVorce Allen to pretty much nothing. He only had about 80 yards on about 30 carries. So uh, let's see. Oh, he had 27 carries, 87 yards, two touchdowns. So they limited him for the most part. I mean, 3.2 yards per carry. I mean, I thought that'd be a little bit more. Um, with when if, in regards to their offensive line being a lot bigger, more talented, athletic than Fresno State's defensive line, but Fresno State's defensive line, defensive line did impress me. But their secondary man, not so much, not so much. Uh, Devontae Adams did look pretty good at times. He he went a little bit east to west or west to east a little bit too much, but 
he did look, look like a talented receiver, and he might be coming out this season in the draft, but uh, we'll just have to see. Wow. Buffalo just made a... That's a Sports Center top 10 play. Hold on. Wow. And they're in the fight. They're getting in a fight. They are in a fight. Okay. I need to uh, end the video here, but once again, congratulations, USC, on a Las Vegas Bowl um, win. And uh, hopefully going forward, you'll get better. I mean, you can only go up from here with the fact that with everything you've gone through the past couple seasons with Lane Kiffin, etc. So congratulations and good luck in the future. And that's it, guys. So please leave a uh, comment on the video with your opinion on the game, what you think about uh what you thought about the game. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, leave a like if you haven't already. I'm coming at you with a bowl recap for every single bowl game. And no, I hope you're looking forward to it. So please follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com. I'll be coming at you next with my Idaho Potato Bowl recap video. So until then guys. Have a fun time. Peace.